Right now, police say they've caught the five suspects responsible for murdering a 14 year old girl or named Haley Adams during a home invasion last week. Family members are grateful they're behind bars. CBS 46 and Sayana Crystal is live in Coweta County with those details for us. Ayanna. Tracy, uh, three of the suspects are behind bars here. They have had their first appearance and were denied bond. The other two suspects were arrested in Chattanooga, and I have just learned that they will be extradited back here on Monday. Now, I did speak with Haley's family today, and they are grateful that the suspects are off the streets but are having a hard time dealing with all of this. County, I want to for your emergency. Yes, ma'am, my daughter's been shot. The chilling 911 call from February 11th. Yes, she came out of the room and they shot her in the back. After Haley Adams' mother watched her 14-year-old daughter get shot to death during a Grantville home invasion. This is just not anything that you would ever think in a million years. Haley's grandmother, Lori Schmidt, can't believe she's gone. Just no words, no words. It should never have happened. Here are the suspects, William, a.k.a. Billy Tyree, Kyle Conley, Justin Ramsey, Spencer Wicks, and Aubie Brown have all been charged with murder. And they promised us justice, and so we're very, very grateful. Sheriff Lynn Wood says these five suspects are part of the Ghostface gang, which is a white supremacist gang. There were rumors of some being here, and we knew had identified a few, but we hadn't had any issues here in Coweta with them until now. Wood says the man the suspects were looking for is stepbrothers with Tyree. Investigators say the 32-year-old planned the whole thing. And now family members want justice for Haley. They are gang people. They are bad people. You remember my face when you sentenced them. This tragic, deadly shooting has shook not only the family, but this Coweta County community. To have a 14-year-old girl, innocent girl, get shot like that, it was just... It's very, it hurts, it hurts hard. So many people love her. So it impact us for the rest of our lives. Gone too soon and Haley's family members tell me she was spunky and wanted to be a drill sergeant. She was not only beautiful on the outside, but on the inside and they miss her a great deal. That's the latest in Coweta County, Ayanna Crystal, CBS 46 News.